next is Jensen Button, though it seems it's the parents who suffer most on race days. I had many years in motorsport and it didn't worry me at all when I was competing, but out there with these little lads, it's, it's frightening and very time consuming. It's just heart stopping when he's out there. What he wants to do in the future, I don't know. They all say they want to go to Formula One, but uh, I don't know, as long as he's enjoying himself, that's the, you know, that's the main thing. Who knows, in a few years' time, we may see Jensen Button in a Formula One car. One of the biggest treats for the cadets is their annual visit to Silverstone for the Kart Grand Prix, where they're let loose for a few demonstration laps. They certainly learn fast and will get up to all sorts of tricks just to get in front of the camera. So, how much can you expect a season of cadet racing to cost? If you're going to start off in a cadet car, you have to realistically look at spending a thousand pounds for the new equipment. Because by the time you've bought the car, you've got to have a set of wet tyres in case it's wet and it's not dry because you can't race in wet on slick tyres. You've got to have a decent crash helmet uh, and a pair of overalls and a pair of boots. And you've got to have a stand to work on the car because Dad don't want to get down and put his back out or whatever. So at the end of the day, you are going to be spending a thousand pounds to buy the equipment. To race it for a year, you must be looking at spending another thousand to fifteen hundred pound. So it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but certainly in terms of motorsport, and in terms of what it can actually do for a kid, um, it's well worth it. Having cut their racing teeth in the cadet class, the next step is the junior class for 11 to 16 year olds. Drivers come in all shapes and sizes, so there's a minimum weight limit for cart and driver in order to make the racing as fair as possible. Progression up through the karting classes is often swift. Many of these young drivers will be racing alongside adults in a very short time. For the moment though, the main thought for these youngsters is doing well in their heats in order to get a good classification place for the final. When a driver does come unstuck, there's always an army of eager dads willing to get things going again. Injuries are rare in karting, and it seems to be the pushers who are more at risk. 